This is our first day in the central French Pyrenees and it's a wonderful area. It seems to be undiscovered. And the wildlife is incredible and the insects and the butterflies and the birds and it's just such lovely scenery. It's so green and lush and very mountainous. And we're just setting off on our first day's walk. Now we're staying in a tiny village called Suiche, which is near to Aspe. And we're just starting to explore the area. The weather's gorgeous as you can see. And um, let's see what we can find and look at and, and discover. We've driven to near to Bagne de Luchon or Lucon and we're going to walk up towards Lac O. It's spelled L A C double O and uh, see what it's like. It's, it's supposed to be very scenic and there are lots of lakes and there are glaciers and very high mountains surrounding it. We've come up here because it was so hot yesterday and it's certainly nice and fresh up here today. Although it is still warm with the sun out. Let's go to a place that will be bursting with life. We twinkle toes and you a shining St. George nobility. This is, this is a, it's obviously a dammed lake, but we're going to try and walk up to the next one. Just try and find a path onwards, I can't see it anywhere. I think it's probably up this side, but I'm just going to get the map out. We'll sit a fine table as we dine on the famous man by trying to follow it but it's very windy so I'll have to lie down to hold the binoculars because I can't hold it still. I'll give my funny dance that will bring healing somehow and you you're always joy you fight the dragon. Just walking to the top of the the river that the big waterfall down into the bottom lake lap go. This is the top of it where it goes through a narrow gorge and it's a very noisy river. It's full of, I suppose, snow and ice melt at the moment. And we'll laugh all the day until we defeat the dark. We will climb on the back to all the stones will be for us. I'll give you a feather for your feather collection. We'll lose it to fly to your castle in the sky. Top of that gorge, there's a heck of a lot of water going down it. And it's just like waterfall after waterfall.
Yesterday's extremely hot day, we've decided to go up high and we're on the top of the Col de Mente and we're going to head up footpath towards Mount Kagia, which is the very high mountain you can see from the cottage in Suis. And the cyclists are coming and going all the time off here. It's uh, one of the classic climbs and um, it, it must be extremely hard because we've gone up numerous hairpins. On the final ridge walk to the summit of the Kagia and behind you is the River Garonne, the big valley that runs up towards the Spanish border. Um, you can see all the hills there which I imagine the Spanish border is somewhere. Well, it's clouded up a bit and we've made it to the summit of the Kagia and we're standing by a round disc that spins and it's called the Torn Etoile du Kagia and we're at 1912 metres. We're doing Route 30, which is a fairly hard ride, I think, from um, a village called, I'm going to get the leaf at the right way up, Isau de l'Hotel. We're starting here in the village and we're following the black route all the way round. And it's, I tell you, it's uh, 30 kilometres and it has a 750 metre Scent. It's supposed to take four hours to take us all day. That's the Kajir where we were a few days ago on the summit. The day it went a little bit cloudy and where the sheepdogs were, the Pyrenean mountain dogs. of the hills round here force you to cycle at a snail's pace. We've just been watching an emerald green beetle flying around here. Quite a large one. Here he is now just going around the head. Seems almost out of control, little wings and a great big body. There he is too often I think.
you think the temperature is? We're into the low 30s. Not sure, 31, 32. That was an epic push up through the woods, at least an hour. Uphill, it's not cyclable, you can only push due to the rocks. And you can see Kagia Mountain behind us, where we were up the other day. Well, we're nearly up there now. Yeah. <laughs> Today we're on the French Spanish border, Haya Bocanier de Luchon, and we're going to walk a little way along the ridge. It's extremely hot, so don't know how far we'll get, but we're hoping we'll get good views in a minute over to the main mountain range. Where do you think the ridge is? Well, I think it's that way, and it also goes that way, but I think we're going, I think we're going that way, but we have to wait till we get to the top and get the map out. Isn't it noisy? the top of the coal now and the main Pyrenean range is coming into the view and one of these I think should be the highest peak in the Pyrenees called Aneto. I'm going to get my app out and um, take a photograph of the horizon of the mountain range and see which one it shows up to be Aneto. I wonder if it's that one there with all the ice on it or whether it's one of those at the far at the back there that looks pretty high. walking on the side there's like no path but we're nearly on the ridge now we'll find a tree get under it another lunch stop with a view and a lot of ants as well crawling about what have we had to do move move ships we've moved trees in other words because we couldn't find anywhere flat enough to lie down properly in the shade but this tree's better really you've got a brilliant view of the all the high mountains in the Pyrenees So I've got one foot in Spain and one foot in France. It's, um, they're all along here, along this ridge. So we're just walking along the boundary between the two countries now. It seems to wiggle about a lot around here. We're on one of these trig points that marks the boundary. This is Spain on this side. It sort of comes out in a spur towards France because this is this is the French bit here. Everything's in French and everything's in Spanish on this side. And so we're just here by this peak here, somewhere on the ridge just about there. And there's some writing on the side of this trick point. Got four vultures circling above us. And one or two of them have come really low over us and the shadow's been like a glider across the ground. They're amazing really, absolutely beautiful things to look at. Right at the top of the road, out of Herat, here, and we're going to walk up to the Peak de Palomer, which is 1608 metres.
Peak de Palomare. And we're just going around a corner now and I have a feeling there might be a really good view of the snowy Pyrenees ahead of us. of animal bells. We can hear a herd of cows down here and over the coal up here it sounds like another herd of sheep or cows. They're like church bells. We've got here, we're on the summit to the peak to Pelomare at 1,600 metres. in a little village called castellon en cousseron which is not far from saint Giron, and we're cycling up the valley here and we've just reached this village here les bords de les bords sur les and we're at this junction deciding which way to go she did mention the lac de bethamel here but we're at the moment turning down this valley here which heads up and heads right up into the to there which is quite a long way up. So we're just sort of exploring today, a bit more in the high Pyrenees, and uh, it's beautiful scenery again. Maison du Valle, uh, Plat de la Lo is marked on the map and it's a end of valley parking area for lots of walks to high high passes and peaks all around here. Very tempting to come back and do a walk up to one of the passes one day to see if there's a good view from the top. Looks like there's a bit of a, a glacier possibly even up there. And we're about, I'd say, Three miles as the crow flies from the Spanish border, which would be over that way and over the top of the high peaks. 